Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know if you've seen this yet or not, but, okay, I have this. This, the dip tub. It's apple. I put a pinch of apple in. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna review the apple for you. It wasn't a big pinch because there was hardly any left. Brian found it in his bag and we don't know how old it is. We don't really care. It's still got a pretty good taste to it. Um, okay, this is called the dip trick. What you do is, okay, I have one that is not started at all. Just finish that can, actually. Here's another one where it is almost done. And here's one where it just needs to be popped out. And this is Brian's. This is one that is finished. This is what the ending product will look like. So and you'll have this, this little thing. So, okay. So what you're going to want to do is, okay, I'll just bust this one out. Because once it gets like that, you can just pop it out easy. So I've got two of them now. So what you're going to want to do is just start with your hand like this. It's popped out already. It's not like the thing popped out, just the center of it. It's not very pretty, I guess, but what you're going to do is just going to flex it like that in your hand, and just keep on spinning it in your hand, and just start working, just keep working with it, and I'll review this dip for you while I am while I'm doing this. So, it's pretty. It's a pretty fruity dip. It's skull apple. Um, if you ever had sour apple Jolly Ranchers, it tastes a lot like that. It's still good. It's still pretty good though. I mean, Dollar Jolly Ranchers in dip form. How could you not love it? But I wouldn't chew this daily. I mean, I picture myself maybe buying a can of it, maybe a month, maybe every two months. I mean, you couldn't do it daily. So once you start. Once you start doing this, the can will, well, the top of the thing will start to be like this. It'll just, yeah. And then you just keep doing it until you start hearing a little crack noise. And these fucking skull lids get flimsy as hell before they even crack. Copenhagen's pretty simple to do it with. Uh, our first video was up and ready to be watched, so. Go for that. That was Brian clapping in the background. He's talking to a lady friend right now who he's pissed off at and he's telling her off. So, I don't know. I guess that's how Brian rolls. You know? Yep. I know. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Who's going to be doing this? Our first video was on Grizzly 1900 Long Cut. It was a pretty good dip. It tastes a lot of. It tastes a lot like whiskey. I mean, I mean, I don't know if I chew it every day. It'd be. It's about like this. You wouldn't chew it daily. I mean, I'm sure there's people who do and chew this daily, but they're pussies. But he said they're pussies, but I guess it just depends on what kind of chew you like. I mean. I couldn't take this. I mean, I don't even know how long I'm going to keep this pinch in because it's, it's not enough. You can't, you don't get the same, like, feeling or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this is fucking taking forever to crack. Been on cam for four minutes now and it hasn't even started to pop yet. So, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I got this one and I got a Copenhagen one I'm going to do. Copenhagen one's almost done, though. So, I don't know, um, you can, you can push it out, but I don't, I don't know if it helps any, it really helps when you, you just bust it back and forth when it starts to crack, it gets cracked on both sides, like, it'll be cracked up at the top and up at the bottom, and you flex it back and forth, and then it pops out easier. This dip isn't very big because there wasn't very much left in the can. So I had to get a pinch of it. Yeah, Brian had to have a pinch of it. Just for old time's sake, I guess. But 
yeah, this thing's getting fucking annoying now because, I don't know, just sitting here doing this isn't too fun. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll keep doing this, but this is what the ending Copenhagen one will look like. Pretty sweet. And this is what the ending skull will look like. And uh, you can only do this with Skull and Copenhagen because they're made by the same company. But if you you can do it with Grizzly, I've been told you can do it with Grizzly, but it comes out like really rigid and it will cut you. So stitches, niggas. Yeah, that bad. So this will cut you, but these will cut you, but only if you like press down, like grip them really really hard and then just squeeze, or if you're one of those emo dippers and you try and slit your wrist with them, <laughs> you gotta be doing some heavy fucking cutting or just get a grizzly can and try and pop that center out and you won't have any problem cutting yourself. So, anyway, yeah, this is fucking taking forever. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this because I think it's about ready to pop because I can feel it getting weaker in the middle. So, Flex it a little bit. Just hold it in there. What? I said just hold it in there. I'll get it. Yeah, just stay here. I got it. Don't worry about it. This is. I'm gonna play my favorite song at the moment. Not right now. It won't be loud. My laptop speakers are shitty. Yeah, but it'll still be on the video. And I don't want to hear that gay shit. You know what? Jealousy is the ugliest trait. Yeah, well. My name okay. is Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> His favorite song is, who is it singing? Carrie Hilston. Carrie Hilston, Pretty Girl Swag. It's what? rock, bro. Oh, pretty pretty girl, girl Rock. Pretty Girl Rock. What a queer. What a queer. Goes good with that. My it name is Grizzly. Oh, so <laughs> fair. <laughs> oh, that's all cute. That was good. Yeah, that's another thing about the Fruity Dip. If you've chewed for a while and you know what you're doing, but you swallow some, there's no problem with it. You can fucking stomach this shit and it'll just go right down. That's what I'm trying to do. Get sponsored by Mud Jugs. I'm either going to eat tons of fucking fruity dip on a sandwich or I'm just going to pour tons of fucking spitters over my head. Whichever one works. All Throw right. in comments what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. Comment on what you want me to do. I'll either eat a dip sandwich or just pour tons and tons of spit over my head. I don't really care. So, I just want to be sponsored by Mud Jugs because they're fucking awesome. Ours are in the mail right now. That's what we got. I got the Confederate flag one. <clears throat> Beast one. And Team Realtree Spitter. And he got the Confederate flag one and I got the Deer Skull one because that one was my favorite. And I guess, I don't know why he got the confederate one because I guess he liked it but when you see the confederate flag this thing isn't going to pop and I already got eight eight minutes down so I'm just going to switch this Copenhagen one that's almost popped I mean it's already cracked a little bit not much but say like right oh shit oh never mind hold on got to pop it a little bit more. Hmm. Oh yeah, guys. Um, also, in the... Oh, fuck. That's the problem. Wow. That's what will happen. The lid will bend if you push down too hard. <laughs> but <laughs> also, in the comments, guys, um, uh, give us ideas on what you want us to try, like different dips. We want to know what you guys want to see, and we'll do it. Uh, we haven't seen too many videos on loose leaf reviews, so yeah, we'll do that if you want us to. And that is popped, so like shaking right now. And that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment. Subscribe, niggas. Copenhagen Smiler, one. Cameron Campbell, this Campbell, out.